How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Felix the Fisherman Fisherman's Challenge. So in the last episode you saw Felix battling the Destroyer with our awesome safety box and for some crazy reason I thought it would be a great idea to go out of the box and almost die in the process because why would you want to have an easy boss fight of course? Oh my god, why didn't I stay in the box? <laughs> we also spent a long time getting this amazing new weapon, the Toxic Carp, which is a cool ranged weapon that doesn't use any ammo at all. So it's unlimited ammo, which is pretty cool. It's also a nice backup we weapon to the Crystal Serpent. So if I run out of mana, I can quickly swap to the Toxic Carp. So we also found the Wizard NPC, and Felix was still exploring the jungle when we left him last. So let's get started and see how he's going down in the jungle. Oh well, we didn't have any luck finding the goblin, but we did get the wizard, Arden, who's moved in, having a nice chat to good old Darius there. And uh, we've got Layla, the steampunker too, which is kind of cool. More oh, jetpack. Oh, I wish I could get wings. <laughs> but uh, eventually, eventually we might get one from a quest. Speaking of quests and Ulysses butterflies, uh, let's see what the quest is today, guys. Oh man, he's got a job. Yar, dear matey, shiver me timbers of all scallywags. <laughs> a pirate captain wants it. Oh man, it's a pirate fish. That is cool. <laughs> oh, you need to fetch me the fish. It's obviously the ocean somewhere, duh. <laughs> well, I guess we're going for a trip to the ocean. And uh, we actually have a fair bit of bait after opening all those chests. And I was actually thinking about it. I would love to get... I would love to get the last piece of our titanium set. Uh, that'll give us the awesome shadow dodge ability, all that cool stuff. So what we'll do, let's make our way to the ocean. We're going to do some fishing, hopefully get a bunch of crates, although I am out of potions, uh, like crate potions and stuff. But we do have a lot of fishing gear now, so bunny, let's do this. Oh, another butterfly. <laughs> Can I reach it? Probably not. Hang on. <laughs> Alright, to the ocean. <laughs> guys that was so strange like I was fishing at the ocean for a while and it didn't twig uh, straight away and I realized I'm like I should have caught Captain Tuna Beard by now and what was actually happening is you know that little like stone thing I had with the palm trees growing out of it it was actually blocking the ocean catches I don't know how and the other reason is I was catching bass which you actually can't catch from the ocean normally so I don't know, somehow it changed to a normal purity biome, which is really weird. But anyway, let's hand in the uh, the quest and see what we get. A fish hook? Is that the thing I've already got? <gasps> no! A grappling hook! Oh my god. We finally have it. Oh, and it started fishing too. Oh my god, we can grapple. Yes! Grapple power activated! Oh my god. Oh, I was just thinking, I'm like... You know, I was thinking about Skeleton Prime and 
the twins on. And I was thinking of alternate strategies, but having a grappling hook just helps so much. Wow, that's so cool. And it's raining too, which is really, really cool. So guys, what we're going to do, I'm actually going to go get some uh, honey from the beehive. And then uh, we're going to continue fishing up some crates because I would love to get a bunch of them. So let's do it. Okay, we are back from our fishing excursion and I am interested to try out making these crispy honey blocks. Where are they? I'm in front of the furnace. I should... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so pretty much all I'll be using them for is the fishing potion. So let's go up to our potion area. Um, this would be really handy if we can actually make a few, which will be awesome. Alright, so let's see. We'll put them in the box, uh, like so. Beautiful. Ooh, it's raining. Let's uh, let's get some water leaf uh, while that's happening because I think water leaf's actually an ingredient of the uh, fishing potion as well, which is cool. I think we're okay for day bloom, so I won't harvest those right this moment. So we should be able to. Oh, guys, check it out. Ah, uh, yeah, so it's literally just water leaf and honey blocks. Wow, how many can I make? Oh my god, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Let's just make 20 for now, and uh, that should help a bit. So uh, what we're going to do is, it's raining, so you get a 20% bonus to your fishing power. Um, and I actually, <laughs> I completely forgot we had some crate potions as well, which is awesome. So guys, we're going to get our fishing gear on, enjoy the rain, enjoy all the buffs, and fish up as many crates as humanly possible. Let's get started. Oh man, what luck did we have with that fishing? That was awesome. And we have ended up with three more crystal serpents, which is crazy. Tons of fish and a nice amount of crates too. And although I was at first I was like, oh my god, so lucky, this is amazing. Um, but what tends to happen as your fishing power gets up around 100, um, you generally start to get a lot of the rarer drops a bit easier. Um, so, oh, no sitting ducks fishing pole. Oh my god, we're never gonna get it. <laughs> um, but that said, like, it's interesting because the toxic carp took forever. And then, you know, <laughs> you get so many crystal serpents. So, I don't know, go figure. So, we're definitely going to have to make a shrine to these pink powerful serpents. Um, so let's put our fish in the crates. So, you might be wondering why I've got four gold crates here. I mean four gold chests. So basically what I'm gonna do is spam open all the chests, all the crates, sorry, I'm getting I'm getting them mixed up. Um, because we're looking for we need some Aurical no not Aurichalcum, Adamantite ore to upgrade to uh, Adamant Adamantite Forge, and then we need titanium bars to finish off our set. So what I might do is put an annotation in this vid because I'm just gonna spam open all the crates and quickly sort it into chess. So if you're interested to see the loot, let's go. Otherwise, just click the link and uh, it'll skip the video ahead for you. It'll probably only take 30 seconds anyway. All right, you ready? Let's go. <laughs> oh my God, guys, bring on the loot. Oh yeah. Oh man, there's stuff dropping everywhere. Wow, this is crazy. Okay, so I wanna try this quick stack option with the chess. Can I do this? Quick stack. No, I need to put stuff in it first. 
<laughs> I need to put stuff in the chest. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we got that. Alright, let's put potions in another one. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, let's split them up. Okay, so we got potions in one. Okay, we got bars in the other. Sweet. Uh, let's put bait in the third one. Yeah, that's working. That's cool. Okay, I can dig that. Oh, mithril ore. Awesome. Tin ore. Not so good. Uh, no, okay. <laughs> it's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's like tin ore. <laughs> the little ore that couldn't. <laughs> oh, let's put it there anyway. Okay, and let's just put random loot in this box. Okay, beautiful. That's working. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Sweet, sweet. Where's potions? I should have I should have labeled them, but I didn't really think about how this was gonna work. Anyway, let's keep going. And yes, there's swiftness potions there. I can see them. Oh man. Okay, this is so fun. I'm not even really looking at what we're getting. I'm just like, oh, now I'll try quick stack. Yeah, awesome. Quick stack. Boom. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh man, I love this. <laughs> so cool. I've never really used quick stack before, so quick stack! <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, and this is just a random loot box. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, we got another um, <gasps> Master Pause Bait. Yeah, sweet. Okay, we're doing good. What have I put copper ore in there for? I can't even tell what I'm getting. <laughs> oh, oh no. Okay, this is so fun. Oh man. <laughs> okay, and there's platinum ore too. Alright, cool. We almost got this, yep. Now we're up to the big chest, guys. We're up to the big ones. Oh, this is going to be crazy. Okay, so, oh, how many titanium? Oh, man, we're going to be able to make the... Oh, this is so good. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Let's just open the hello crates, too. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow, wow, wow. This is so cool. Okay, let's just keep quick stacking. Bang, bang, bang. Get it all in there. Oh, no, not deposit all. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. Okay. Wow. We, we got bait for days, people. Bait for days. I can't quick stack those. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Oh, all right. So, we got 22 titanium bars. Uh, we didn't get the adamantite ore, which means... Oh, man. I don't know if we're going to have enough for the boots. Oh, I hope we do. I so hope we do. Okay, well, let's just take it straight away and go have a look. Uh, I think I've got five titanium bars, which might be enough, actually. We might be all right. What do I need? Boots. Boots, boots, boots. Yes. Man, we have the full set of titanium. Oh, man. So now we get the shadow dodge skill, which is... Amazing! Oh my god, I love it. It's actually so useful. Um, I don't actually know what adamantite gets. What's that get? I'm not sure. Anyway, man, okay. <laughs> this has been crazy. Alright, so I'm gonna have a quick sort. Just take out, like, the critical potions, like the heart reaches and stuff. Uh, put the bars in our chest. Equip our bait. And then, guys, we're gonna move on to the next step of our adventure. Okay, guys, we are all sorted. And I was just looking at the boss summoning tokens and luckily they're made out of pretty common stuff and uh, we can make the mechanical skull because I would like to fight Skeletron Prime next but we can also make the mechanical eye um, because I've just been collecting lenses yeah as um, uh, as yeah demon eyes sort of fly past uh, great tip guys always keep a, a boss summoning box and, you know, just put aside any boss summoning items, and especially the parts of them that you need. And then, yeah, if you ever need them, like, during the game, uh, like, when you go to crafting them like this, they're, they're pretty much ready to go. Okay, guys, so I reckon the next night we'll fight Skeleton Prime. We're pretty much ready. We got, yeah, lot, we got our full armor now. I'd love to find the Goblin Tinkerer, so we're going to have one quick dash through the jungle again. Maybe get some life fruit. Uh, maybe get some fallen stars, and uh, I think our arena will be fine. Yeah, I'm not going to change that at all. I'm pretty happy with how it is. I might get some more honey to put down here, but uh, apart from that, I'm, I'm pretty much ready to give it a go. So let's have one last dash. Come on, Goblin. Don't be shy, and then we will fight Skeleton Prime.
Well, I give up. We're just going to have to live without the Goblin Tinkerer for a while. And we'll at least try and fight Skeletron anyway. Uh, the reason I came to the dungeon is because sometimes it's a really easy way uh, for him to stand out. Um, because he just appears on one of the pathways. So, yeah, that can be a really useful thing. But, um, anyway, it wasn't for no use. We did get a heart statue. And we grabbed the alchemy table too out of the dungeon, which is really, really nice. So, guys, I'm going to sort my inventory. And tonight we shall fight uh, Skeletron Prime, uh, which will be... Ooh, I'm interested to see how we go. Okay, I hear the night music starting to play. So let's turn on our heart statue. Let's put our buffs on. And let's summon this crazy skeleton. Oh, oh here we go. Here comes the fun. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, I guess a nice thing about our arena is it's going to naturally avoid a lot of those bomb attacks um, because bombs can't bounce on platforms uh, which is really nice um, and our scaffolding is actually giving us a nice way to move around during this um, and it, it's interesting because I'm like I don't feel the need to grapple um, <laughs> which is the purpose of the scaffolding so yeah although I am trying to shoot at the um, prime laser which is normally my first prime target um, to take out. Um, this arena is a little cramped actually. I, I feel like, yeah, it's hard to get good shots off, but that's okay. Uh, damage wise, we seem fine. Um, how much armor have we got? 45 with an iron skin on. Uh, because as you know, I'm using the mage, uh, armor. Um, because I wanted to maximize the crystal serpent's power. Um, but yeah, no, apart from that, yeah, we, we seem to be doing okay. Ah, oh, stop dodging. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Okay. Alright, come on. I want to get rid of that prime laser. Oh, man. Okay. Well, if this fight goes pretty well, I think um, we won't worry about powering up for the twins. Uh, we'll just jump straight into it, uh, which will be fun and dandy. Okay, come on. Do you know, actually, do you know what I've realised? Uh, the problem here is not going to be dying, I don't think. It's going to be, uh, actually beating Skeletron by morning. In fact, I think I might ignore the arms and go for the head. Um, because, yeah, we will just won't do enough damage otherwise. Okay, guys, we're getting him low. He's under 6,000. Oh, the thing that really worries me in these fights is I want to kill him by morning. Oh, oh my God, come on. And I've run out of mana regen potion. So, yeah, we're sort of burning through our mana a lot quicker, uh, which is a little troublesome. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm sort of... I'm playing a bit more um, sort of careless and just... I'm tanking hits so I can keep damage on him. Uh, which is what you need to do if you're getting close to the morning. So, rather than like worrying about dodging as much, you're just like, yep, damage, 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 let's go, go, go! <laughs> oh man, okay, 600, we can do this, come on, come on! Oh man, oh yes, yes, oh, yes, whoa, oh. Have you guys ever had that, like, you're fighting like Destroyer or something? Probably happens more when you're new to the game. And you've almost killed them and morning comes and they just despawn and it's like, no, why? I was so close. <laughs> oh, crazy. 
I was actually thinking during that fight, I wouldn't mind crafting another, like a bow or a repeater or something as well. Um, seeing we've got all those metal bars, and we should probably upgrade our sword too. But uh, we have done it. We've survived another boss fight, and the twins will be interesting. Oh man, all that running around and trying to keep the damage up. Uh, we're probably going to need magic power potions for that, but... Um, oh, oh, we can make some more mana crystals too. Oh yeah, okay, I'm full. I'm full, I'm full! <laughs> no more mana, no more. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks as always for watching another episode of Felix the Fisherman. Oh man, we are smashing these mech bosses, and I can't wait for our showdown with Duke Fishron. But we've got a few bosses to get through first. But the interesting thing about a Fisherman playthrough is that once you've got like your third tier hardcore, hard mode armor, and yeah, your Crystal Serpent, maybe a Repeater, um, you're pretty much ready to go for a boss rush. So yeah, this series will probably speed up a bit uh, from here on, uh, which is kind of exciting. So lots of bosses, lots of fighting. I can't wait to take on Fishrod. I'm excited. It's going to be a fun fight, and I'm glad we got our grappling hook. That will help a little bit, I think. Wings would be nice, though. i am definitely got my fingers crossed for a pair of wings. Oh my gosh. Otherwise, I guess we'll have to do some uh, scaffolding like we've done with our current arena, just at the beach instead. Anyway, it's time for some shout-outs, as always. And the first one is from Trent Roby, and they've asked me to say in a Felix voice, just one more request until I get the cookie rod. <laughs> oh yeah, bring it on. Cookie rod, 100 fishing power, I love it. And our next one is from Sun Goku, and they've asked me to say in a Goku voice. So <laughs> I tried to do this before, I can't do it. <laughs> anyway, they've asked me to say, I will defeat the Cookie Lord! <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that's not Goku. <laughs> uh, although I think Dragon Ball Z is awesome. <laughs> our next one is from Metal Mars, and they've asked me to say, Money making money five times fast. So, alright, money making money. Alright. <gasps> 3, 2, 1, money making money, money, blah, 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 blah. no. <laughs> oh, you think you're doing good and then you're just like, no. Nah. <laughs> Our next one is from Emperor Dog, and they've asked me to say in a Zephyr fish voice, I want you and so I can annoy Felix wherever he goes. <laughs> oh, Zephyr fish is so crazy. And why, why does Zephyr try and eat everything? <laughs> crazy fish. And our last one today is from Skillers Tyson. I've asked me to say in a Felix voice, I'm coming for you, Duke. <laughs> yeah, bring it on, Fishron. It's going to be an awesome fight. I can't wait to do it. It's going to be epic. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, click that like button if you've enjoyed the episode and get pumped. Our 100,000 subscriber special video is coming out this weekend. So make sure you've got your cookies ready to eat while we watch the video. It's going to be fun. Can't wait to do it. It's going to be great. Alright, keep your comments and suggestions coming as always. I love reading your guys' comments each and every day. It's one of the awesome things about being a YouTuber. I love it. I love interacting with you guys. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, click the little HD icon in the bottom right corner and you will get our latest video straight to your sub box and be able to take part in our 100,000 subscriber giveaway. Here's the most important part as always. You will stay happy and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day signing out. See ya. Alright, now let's find out where this lava is. Mr. Lava! <gasps> oh goodness! Okay, we've got to heal off, nice. Oh, he's about to go in his last form! Oh, what are we- No! <laughs>